Are straight men less expressive? You have to keep in your mind enunciating is gay. Enunciating is gay. Is enunciating gay? A couple of weeks ago, I commented this on a video of Cola Scola busting out their straight guy voice for Stephen Colbert. Do you know eggs are actually bad for you? Uh, wait. <laughs> oh, uh, oh man, I wrecked my shoulder last night. It's a hilarious bit because you hear the contrast so clearly between Cole is Cole and Cole is straight guy. And here's the thing, the linguistic data backs Cole up. Cole's straight guy impression rests on firm empirical ground. Let's look at it visually. This is the vowel space, a tool we can use to map out the tongue positions of different vowel sounds. The schwa, the little neutral vowel sound at the beginning of the word about or in the middle of the word telephone is dead center. Uh, e is up here because your tongue is arching high up and towards the front of the mouth. Ah is back here because your tongue is low in the back of the mouth. Ah is low in the front, and so on. So here's what's really cool. The more peripheral a vowel sound is, the further away from that schwa in the dead center, the more defined and expressive it sounds. So if I say, you bet, we plot the oo and e eh around here, pretty peripheral. But if I say, you bet, those are much more central, much closer to a schwa. And what we find is that, on average, straight men have much more centralized vowel sounds than women and gay men who have much more peripheral vowel sounds, which are heard as more expressive. This is a robust, extensively documented phenomenon, but the usual disclaimer applies. We're talking about averages across populations. There are many, many individual exceptions. So, are straight men less expressive? What kind of truck is that? Wait, what kind of truck is that? On average? Yes, they are, at least as far as vowel definition is concerned. As for the why... The worst thing for a straight guy, the, and I've done a lot of research on this, <laughs> a straight guy's number one fear is being understood. <laughs> it seems like cool and confident, but it's actually like, don't look at me, don't look at me. What do you think? Let me know in the comments.